what's up guys welcome to dc explores good morning uh, and today's vlog we're going to niagara falls we're gonna use the public transit so just stay tuned and let's see how it goes so i'm using the go train as the mode of travel so there are direct trains from union that go all the way till niagara falls go station i'm gonna put up the schedule on the screen uh, in a screenshot so maybe you can take a look at that and for the latest schedule you can check on their website also uh, go trains are more comfortable and i'm using the weekend pass which is just for ten dollars you can also get a combo pass with the bus shuttle from niagara falls go to the falls that costs around twenty dollars so you you should check yourself uh, what suits best for you and take the most uh, convenient option if you're traveling to niagara for the first time don't get intimidated by the crowd Niagara is a hype tourist spot and you're gonna see a lot of people especially near the falls taking out pictures so don't be scared what's up guys so I finally reached Niagara and yeah uh, the go station was packed so there are shuttle buses that run from Niagara go station to the actual falls and I decided to walk it through because it was hardly two and a half kilometer and it was showing 30 minutes by walk so i didn't mind taking this long path but yeah you can choose the best uh, route for yourself and that's it and also regarding the go train i took a weekend pass so that costed me 10 dollars and it's valid for the entire day and i can go uh, by go transit uh, multiple times there's no cap on that so that's one major advantage so guys i thought that i'll just go first and have some brunch so on google maps i saw some diner and i am very fond of diners so i'm just gonna try some uh, canadian style brunch and see how it goes i'll put in the pictures of the diner so the diner name is highlight and it's pretty good After a short detour to the brunch place, we are heading towards the fall and this is the view on the way. Couple of times when I visited Niagara in the past, I've always visited by the car. This time I used the public transit and it was pretty smooth. So I do recommend using the Go Transit. So finally we can see some falls. <laughs> but I still like this green color. So this is journey under the falls. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's the bridge. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> uh, that's the boat. Where's the boat? Oh, okay. That's the US one. Oh, that's the Jim and Pam one. Yeah, that's the The mist, now What is that? Made it up. Yeah, I made it up. Mist. This is the Sienta without steroids. <laughs> what? How <laughs> oh, serious? See the Sienta without steroids, okay. Okay, so we've reached. It'll be fun actually to go down yeah, there. Yeah. 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 The good queue to get in. Oh, there's a hard rock cafe also. Yeah. So I'm gonna be on one of those cruises. That's gonna cruise closer to the falls. <laughs> So past couple of times when I visited Niagara, I've never gone on the boat ride. So this time we decided, no, we have to do this. 
so we are going to go and it's going to be a memorable day that's a mist right see it's come up <laughs> yeah dude that's the missing part every time we've seen a rainbow whenever we've come here sad day no rainbow It's summer time and the queue to get on the boat is crazy. Like you can see there are so many people around that want to get on the boat. So I'm also one of them. And yeah, we're just waiting and there I go. It's like getting closer and closer and I'm excited. Like as you can see on my face, like I'm excited to get in there. I'm gonna put in the prices of the boat ride up right here so that you get it as a reference. Wow. Now that Off we go to experience the falls so closely. It's a total different experience to go on a boat and to just like watch it from up there. So you should definitely try this out. I would recommend this to everyone who's visiting Niagara. And especially like if you're getting your parents or friends or tourists who just visiting Toronto for the first time, they should do this, like they should have this on their bucket list. It's going to be a 20 minute boat ride. So as you can see, there are two sections of the falls. Uh, so we're gonna go and maneuver along the coast of that. And meanwhile, there's going to be an audio that's gonna talk about the history of the falls, like how is it formed and all of that. So if you're interested in that, so do listen to that carefully. There might be some interesting facts right in there. Into a succession of descending rapids due to natural forces in the area. The high flow rate of water causes the falls in large sections of bedrock from the American Falls, which is composed of soft shale and limestone. While the rate of the American Falls is higher than the Canadian counterpart, no area will ever prefer to go over the American Falls. It's a massive amount of water in the area. The American Falls stands at 108 feet or 56 meters. Remember how we were talking about the rainbow that every time you visit Niagara we've seen a rainbow near the falls. We did see one and we got it in our frame while recording the video too so that was like crazy. 
and there are a lot of other things to do at niagara also like in terms of hiking in terms of all these amusement parks and trying out different foods you should try out this funnel cake which just came up on the screen and do all the activities near the falls and that gets us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it please like this channel subscribe to it and leave a comment on your favorite part of the video